Hello everyone, welcome back to TS Info YouTube channel. This is Chandrika from TS Info Technologies. In this video tutorial, I will explain you how to send an email based on the SharePoint list date value. So here I am going to explain the two examples based on the SharePoint list date column values. So let's begin this. Logged into the Power Automate. See here, I have already logged into my Power Automate homepage. This you can be done by browsing make.powerautomate.com in your browser. If you have already logged in with your Microsoft credentials, I have already logged in with my Microsoft credentials. And in the Power Automate homepage, I will show the examples that I will going to create here. Before to that, I will going to explain the scenarios or the examples that I was going to implement in this. So let me open my notepad. So these are the scenarios that I was going to explain in this video. The scenario is like manager should receive the list of employees who are taking leaves on the current day. Which means the second scenario is employees who are taking leaves more than or equal to three days. Either it is sick leave or end leave or any other type of leave. Manager should get notified about the list of employees who are taking more than three days of leaves. So let me create the flow here. Click on button create. After that, select scheduled cloud flow. Because I wanted to run this flow every day so that it will run every day on a particular time and check whether in the SharePoint list the leave date is equal to today or not. So, this is the SharePoint list. I will connect it to that flow. So, in the SharePoint list, I have many columns here. Employee name, leave type, leave date, and leave end date. Here, if the leave date is equals to today, then it will send an email to the particular manager who are having leaves on that particular current date. So, let me go back to the Power Automate flow. Okay. Here, I will name it as send email based on date. Select to run this flow for every one day so that it will trigger every day and click on create. The recurrence trigger has been added and add get items flow action. So in the get items flow action, select the site address and the SharePoint list. Here I will be taking employee leave track. After that, click on show all. In the filter query, I will give leave date is equals to today's date. So that it will return all the items that are having leave date is equals to today date. So to give the filter query, I need the internal name of the list column. Let me go back to the SharePoint list and click on older to newer. In the URL, you can find the internal name of the list column which is next to the sort field is equals to. So copy that. After that, come back to the Power Automate flow and in the filter query, paste it and is equals to. This is the operator EQ you have to place and within single quotes, we have to give the expression for today's date. So I will be giving here format date. UTC now, comma. The date format, year, month, day. Click on add. After that, close the single quote. Take create HTML table flow action. In the HTML table, take from values from get items of body values. After that, show all. In the column, select custom column. Headers as employee name and take employee display name you can customize the list here with the header and the value column section in the header and value column section you can take employee name and employee leave type value and employee leave date after that send an email we to in the send an email flow action, take values from the dynamic content. Here I have to send to the manager. So take manager email. 
after that i will give it as a test and take the output of html table this is the simple body format i have given here and now the flow is ready and click on save and test the flow manually test the flow manually click on test run flow now you can see the flow has run successfully and open the outlook you can also see we have received a email containing a list of employees who are having the leave date on today that is current day so now i will edit my flow click on get items flow action in the get items flow action previously we have given leave date is equals to today and now i will be performing like leave date is equals to today date and leave end date is greater than or equals to 3 days so that we also need leave end date internal name do the same way as i said before take the internal name of the list column here give greater than or equals to greater than or equals to 3 days so for the 3 days give the expression take expression from here add add days after that utc now comma i will be taking 3 days so that it will add 3 days to the current date add the expression and close the single quote every time when we are giving the expression please keep in mind open and end with the single quotes here if the sharepoint list items which have leave date is equals to today and leave end date is greater than or equals to 3 days then it will send an email to the manager the list of employees who are taking more than 3 days of leave so in the create html table i will be adding one more header and value column that is leave end date and map the value here from dynamic content leave end date click on save test the flow select manually test here we can see the flow ran successfully and also we got an email see the email contains leave date is today and leave end date is greater than today this is how to send email based on the sharepoint list date column values for more video tutorials on sharepoint online power apps power bi and power automate like share subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon thank you see you in the next video